How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. In the squad, you see loans. One, two, three. They're all brand new icon SPCs. Uh, in soon to SPCs, we've got mids icon Fernando Torres. I've reviewed the base already, so it'll be very interesting to try the mids. Um, we've got this John Barnes, 89. Uh, we'll, we'll review that on the channel as well. Don't worry about that. And we have Fernando Hierro and his prime icon, which again, we will review that as well. So we've got two Spaniards and an Englishman. Uh, we're going to review Fernando Torres today, so if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that side, smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new around here. And make sure you hit that subscription bell and notification bell, which is the exact same thing, uh, in order to get notifications on the channel. Sometimes it doesn't go to the sub boxes to feed everyone's wants, needs. I, I don't know. Uh, lads, it, it sometimes doesn't get to your sub box. That's what I'm trying to say. So if you do want notifications, Click the little bell. Uh, but Fernando Torres today is very interesting one because price-wise, and this 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 will make it like it's humorous to me. It's humorous to me because on the market, right? Let's see right now. I'm refreshing it right now. Nine hundred thousand on the Xbox One, nine hundred twenty-four thousand on the PlayStation, one point four five. Uh, well, one million and forty-five thousand on the PC, and then you look at the squad building challenges. <laughs> it's 936,000 on the PlayStation, 975,000 on the Xbox, and 1.25 million on the PC. Do you guys see some inaccuracies there? It's actually cheaper to buy him tradable on the market and then sell him if you don't like him. Whether to be lumbered with an icon you don't like. And um, it's very strange. It is very strange. Now, of course, you can get a fodder, untradable fodder, in order to upgrade these cards. But lads, uh, it's very, very strange in my sense. Of course, there's a try before you buy version. You can see I've got him today. Fernando Torres, Liverpool's former number nine. Can I say that? Uh, Fernando Torres. So we're going to review Fernando Torres today for you guys and see uh, if he's worth the coins, SPC-wise and market-wise. We're going to see both of those senses. In terms of Fernando Torres, he actually looks like a decent card as well. Um, I'm going to use a finisher chem style on him because I, I think it boosts them in the right areas. High to medium work rates, great work rates for cards. Four star skills, four star weak foot, six foot one. It's a good height. It's a very good height. What I'm interested in is his body type. So if I kind of load this up here on uh, food bin, uh, see his body type, boys. It's high and average. I don't know what that's going to kind of bring to the table. It's going to be very interesting to uh, well, try Fernando Jose Torres Sands. In terms of the attributes, I don't think you need to boost these pace. I don't know what it is. Nightfall Acceleration is very good in this game. 89 Sprint Speed sufficient enough to beat quite a few defenders on this game. 92 Attack and Position, 92 Finishing, 83 Shot Power. That needs boost. That, that Shot Power needs a boost. Because you need to get the upper hand on the goalkeeper. The keeper can move really fast. And then if they move the keeper, this power is not going to beat them. Simple as that. Uh, so you need good Shot Power on this game, in my personal opinion. Um, and that takes it to 93 as well. Finishing goes to 99. And Attack and Position goes to 97. Uh, long Shot 79. It's going to be an inbox poacher, isn't he? Uh, 82 volleys, 89 penalties going to 94. Uh, free kicks are on the low side. Uh, long passes on the low side. Passing in general looks... Ugh, looks terrible, boys. Uh, 76 vision, 73 crossing, 79 short pass, and 79 curve. Um, he's only going to be able to pass in a straight line. And that could even be a challenge to this card. It's got 87 agility, 81 balance, 92 reactions, 85 ball control, 86 dribbling, and 85 composure, 84 jumping, 82 head accuracy, 84 stamina, 75 strength, 63 aggression. Doesn't look the strongest in the world, so it's going to be very interesting to try those out. In terms of the player traits, finesse shot. That's all you're getting. Finesse shot. That is literally it. And uh, yeah, this is the Atletico Madrid version. This is these early days, is it? Oh no, it's it, maybe it's it debuting? Dude, this, this, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's it's the early Atletico Madrid version. It's the early Atletico Madrid version. So we're going to review this card today. I know a lot of Liverpool fans will probably want to see it. A lot of Chelsea fans may want to see it. Uh, a lot of Atletico Madrid fans definitely will want to see it. So we're going to review it for you guys today. Like I did say, if you do enjoy it, a like would be very much appreciated from you guys. I'm going to play him at strike in a day in a 4 3 1 2. That's the formation I'm playing right now. John Barnes will be in a cam. Uh, I believe he's more of a cam than a winger, John Barnes. So I'm going to try him in that position. And uh, we're just going to see what he's like. It'd be, be very interesting because, lads, I did a spreadsheet uh, today 
I'll probably bring it up on the screen for you at some point. Uh, if not in this video, another video. But I did a spreadsheet. I believe, if I can bring it up right now, Fernando Torres actually got... Now, he's based one. I've actually updated all the ratings. Updated all of them to the current ability right now. Fernando Torres actually got an 8.4. Um, so that'll be very interesting to try and see if this one will beat the 8.4. And with me having every single review I've done this year and then some and correct ratings, it took me 8 hours, lads, to put in, well, input every single piece of data I had for each of these cards. Um, I've got a spreadsheet. Thank you very much to the guy that helped me make this spreadsheet. You know who you are. Thank you so much. Uh, but we do have a spreadsheet, and I'll be bringing that up as well. But Fernando Torres, 8.4, 85 rated base icon. And um, ahead of him was like Anarchy Williams, 8.5. So, will he be... It, honestly, this, this will help me get more accurate review ratings. And that's what I'm excited about, because you can see all these review ratings. Probably on the screen right now, I'm probably scrolling through them, because... I'm not exactly in a rush tonight, to be honest, lads. I'm so, so tired. Lads, this intro is going to be miles long. Lads, let's just cut it short. I'll talk to you at the end. This is Fernando Torres. This is 88. Let's get in the review. Right. Takafuso Kubo. Jao Felix. Fernando Torres, you've got to score this. A little chip. He's off his line. Boom! Just like that, Fernando Torres. Hey, it, 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 was that his trademark celebration? Hey, Fernando Torres, good finish. So he's got the accuracy when it comes to chips and that. He's got the accuracy in general, just he didn't have the power earlier to beat the keeper from the volleys. It's nice. Little flick. Over your shoulder. Back over your shoulder. Torres, please. Torres! That's what I'm on about, man. It's more like it, Torres. Way more like it. What was I saying about the volleys earlier on as well? Once you get it right, man, it's, it's GG's. Normally volleys in around the box. If you've got good volleys, they're good. We just didn't have the power in the last ball, the other accuracy, really. Kubo, back post is free. Fernando, oh, so... Should score, man. I, I don't know what to do. I was panicking, boys. I literally didn't have a clue what to do in that situation, but Fernando Torres gets the goal. A chance which he couldn't miss. I wasn't going to attempt the back here with Coppola. I didn't want to do that, boys. So I just went for the easy pass that was, like, right in front of his face. It's Fernando Torres. Starting to make the run. Look, he's pointing away. He wants it. He gets it where he wants it. Chip. That's got to be a chip. Good night. Fernando Torres. Marshall's number 20. Oh, bye bye. 23. Hey, Fernando Torres is in here. Watch. <laughs> he's offside. Right. <laughs> right. I passed it too late. Far too late. But he's Fernando Torres, boys. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Dude, I passed it far too late originally, so I had to cut it back inside. That's a really, really good finish by Fernando Torres. Is he still on counter? Yes! <laughs> Dude, he's still on counter! Oh, no, he switched. And I scored anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's Fernando... <laughs> I didn't even know it was Fernando Torres, boys. If I can see his name right. Like I said, I've had two hours sleep in 48 hours. Chill. That's a great finish again. Am I using a cushion as a football? So there we have it then, lads. Fernando Torres. Three games played with Barnes, Yero, and Torres. You'll see the Barnes and Yero reviews on the channel as well. But uh, in terms of Fernando Torres, he's not bad. He's not bad. Is he better than the base icon? Yes. He's, he's a lot better than the base icon. I think he's more consistent with his movement and positioning, which is fantastic. Uh, given that Fernando Torres, just, he knows where to place himself on the pitch. It is absolutely fantastic because you don't need to trigger any runs. He makes the runs himself, which I, I didn't think was going to happen. Fernando Torres, his movement in real life was always good. So on this game, they've done really well to, to kind of reenact that. So in terms of the games played, he played three games. He scored six and he assisted twice. Eight call contributions over the course of three games. Not too shabby. I will go over his, um, his pros and cons right now, boys. Uh, pace. I found him really fast. His acceleration is really good. Really, really good. And his sprint speed's not bad. It's not that bad. I, I don't believe you need to stick an engine on him. A hunter on him. Um, a catalyst on him. Catalyst could really help the card, actually, because his passing sucks. Uh, but you don't need to really boost that pace. You, you really, really don't. Uh, when it comes to finishing, he is a good finisher of the ball. He is a good finisher of the ball. Give him a chance, he will score. Uh, most of the time, I did have chances where I, I just, I don't know what happens. Uh, maybe lack of sleep. 
two hours sleep, boys. Two hours sleep. In 48 hours, man, I am shattered. As soon as I've got this uploaded, boys, I'm going to bed. I'm going to sleep for 24 hours. <laughs> this movement is literally phenomenal, boys. And with the movements, that's his, basically his work rates. He's got high to medium work rates. It's fantastic. And um, his positioning is fire. That's why. The two different things, boys. Basically, it's the position you place yourself on the pitch, then the movement once you're in that position to make the runs in game defense. Honestly, he makes the right runs at the right time, and he's always positioned in space, which is sensational. And the four star combo to boot. And his dribbling's not too bad either. The only things that are really, 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 really bad with this card is his passing. It sucks. I don't think I've got a pass with Fernando Torres in terms of a header. He said that because he's 82. I didn't get a pass off with the header. I didn't get a pass off with through balls. I just didn't happen. Uh, he's still passed across the area. Never happens. Basically, the only passes he did make was two yard passes to either John Barnes or Jal Felix. That is all he was doing. Literally that. And uh, his positioning was great. Um, why did I say position? I, I told you, lack of sleep. Uh, strength, fantastic. Balls. Ah! Absolute balls. He's very weak on this game. Very weak on this game. Uh, strength is 75. It's a line. It, it feels like 65. He does get bodied quite a bit. Yes, he puts his body on the line. Yes, he goes in for a challenge. He'll get pushed out of the way every single time. Uh, so the overall rating for the Fernando Torres. He is a good card. He is a good card. I don't know why I'm looking at his story. Uh, the overall rating for Fernando Torres will be an 8.7. Yes. We're getting stricter on the rules, boys. We're getting stricter on the ratings because now I've got a proper rating system in place and I can see comparisons to every other cards. It gives me more accurate representations because I can say this player is better than this player, this player is better than this player, this player, in my personal opinion, is better than this player in this, that, and the other. And that's all from the spreadsheet as well. So GG's uh, to the person that made it. It's absolutely fantastic and gives me... A better, more accurate review database for you guys. I'm going to share the uh, the, the spreadsheet as soon as I can as well. Uh, Enjoyment 8.6 is a fairly enjoyable card in, in certain times. Uh, 8.6 Enjoyment, value for coins. This is where it gets interesting. Uh, 6.4. This card that does the job of Fernando Torres. That is cheaper. That is better. That doesn't cost over 900,000 coins for a tradable one off the market. Well, if you do sell and your price doesn't go up, you lose tax. Um, for an, that's, I wouldn't do the SPC. I, I, I generally would not do the SPC. I, I, I don't know. Like, obviously, if you're a Liverpool fan, you're a Fernando Torres fan, you've got lots of foreign in your club, go for it. But if you can just buy them off the market and experience them on the game, buy them off the market, boys. This SPC is rankly, grossly priced. In my personal opinion, it just is. Uh, it's, it's very unfortunate, lads. It really is. Uh, the meta rating will be an 8.0. Uh, he, is, he is quite meta on this game, Fernando Torres. Um, but he could be a lot, lot meta on this game. I say kind of meta. He's got qualities that make him somewhat meta. Um, for striker, any other position? Probably not. Uh, lads, that's going to be it for this review today. Thank you very much for joining me. If I have babbled along, if I have mixed my words up, I do apologize. I'm uh, running on a lack of sleep right now. I, honestly, I woke up at 1 a.m. this morning. I've been non-stop all day. Non-stop. I am going to go faint on my bed. I'm going to sleep. I, I, that's it. I'm going to sleep. Thank you very much for watching the review. Like, comment, subscribe. This is Fernando Torres, SBC, on the market, review. 88 rated. Uh, mid icon, of course, as uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Lads, if you have enjoyed, you know what to do. Smash a like, comment in the comment section below. What do you think of this Fernando Torres? Are you gonna guys? Are you gonna guys? Are, are you guys gonna complete him? That's basically what I'm trying to say. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll not babble on any longer, boys. I'll get some sleep. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.